welcome to my world. Don't get blown up. Be sure and clean up your mess before you leave. Now for the good part. You came here to watch me show you how to mix iodine with DMSO, also known as dimethyl sulfoxide, to create dimethyl sulfoxiodine, or DMSOI. You want to know what iodine is good for and why DMSO is being combined with iodine in this recipe? Glad you asked. Iodine is like food or water. We can live without them for a little while before succumbing to starvation or dehydration. Iodine is similar, but less noticeable due to the length of time required for its deficiency to arise. But the consequence is just as devastating. Cancer kills. Retardation stymies our children's development. Iodine's deficiency is so pervasive and has been occurring for so long that we have forgotten what iodine is good for. Some of our grandparents and our great-grandparents might have known about the importance of iodine in the form of lugols and tincture of iodine, but we know even less. We've been given a state of ignorance as a substitute for awareness on this topic. My only hope is that you'll dig deeply into the Internet's resource for supplying you with information about our need for iodine. The website of Dr. Brownstein at www.drbrownstein.com is a good place to begin. He has treated many people with iodine supplementation to correct many deficiency illnesses besides goiter, such as a fibrous condition prior to developing breast cancer, among others. Check him out. As for DMSO, Google DMSO or Stanley Jacobs to find out more. Also on YouTube. By the way, iodine is pronounced iodine to rhyme with fluorine, chlorine, and bromine, in case you want to know. Just ask any chemist.